Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and tonight I'm checking out a new game. Well, a new old game? Uh, this is Centipede Recharged. This is kind of a re-envisioning of the original Centipede Arcade game, which is a game I have played a fair bit of. Uh, I'm not by any means a master at it, but I have an arcade cabinet sitting three feet away from me and I've played Centipede a couple times this year, and I grew up on a lot of arcades. Um, this is kind of an interesting reimagining of that. Uh, this is by um, developer Sneaky Box and Adam Vision Studios, uh, published by Atari, of course. Uh, we're gonna jump right in. The, f the first thing I noticed right off the bat is they've changed the graphics. They're going with like a vector kind of look, almost like an old uh, Vectrex game, which is a weird choice. Um, I think this is what they're doing with a lot of their like retro reimagining games, and I don't know if I love it or not. I'm gonna see. Um, looks like you got single player, you got co-op. I'm just playing by myself right now. You got challenges, achievements, settings. I already bumped up the resolution. Uh, I prefer ultra wide when available, as I'm rocking a 34 inch ultra wide here. Um, bump the FPS because it was defaulted to 60. I'm just gonna leave it 120. I've got a 144 hertz monitor. Uh, we'll see how this runs. Let's see, single player arcade, and it does not appear like the mouse is supported. I am using WASD, I might have to get a controller out, that's kind of, and it looks like, um, though I've got ultra wide enabled, it is kind of vignetting it, which makes sense, because this kind of game, if you made it ultra wide, it would completely change the gameplay loop, so I think by enabling ultra wide, all you're doing is adding like the space to the side. So we get explosive bullets. That wasn't in the original. Unless it came like way later than I ever got. That's rapid fire. Okay. So the little spiders and stuff that usually populate down below appear to give you uh, power ups. So I think maybe you can only retain one at a time. That's interesting. First, it's like a shotgun. Well, I'd say it's like right at the beginning, it's a little bit easier than I remember. Um, like I'm, I'm used to the centipedes coming down a lot faster than they are right now. You're probably hearing me murder my spacebar right now. It's basically just controlled with WASD and space for shoot, which, um, yeah, I don't know if I'm in love with that. I don't know if mouse necessarily would be great for this, but I think probably a controller is the way to go. I think this is also out on, um, on consoles. Oh, well, that's kind of a cool effect when you die. I'm gonna plug in my uh, my remote control real quick, and we'll see if I do any better that way. Let's see if this is plug and play. It is very cool. Okay, that feels a little better. You know, this is supposed to be played with like. Uh, was it a trackball or was it the spinner? I think it was the trackball originally. My, I've got an At Games Legends Ultimate with uh, Coin Ops X running on it, and uh, I've also got the One Sauce. I've got some videos on how to install that and what that all means. But the short of it is, I've got about, I've got an arcade cabinet in my my office here with about twenty five thousand games on it, and the. Legends Ultimate is nice because it comes with a spinner, it comes with a trackpad, it comes with um, you know, with the traditional six button control deck and everything. For the money, it's really cool. If you're into old arcade games, which I definitely am, for I think I think it's like six hundred bucks, you can't really beat it. I've had a lot of fun with it. Whenever anyone comes over, it's like a centerpiece for my office.
Rapid fire. I'm not going for a high score or anything here. I was always better at, like, Galaga, Galaxian. We got a video about that. Galaxian is uh, one of the first games I can remember playing back in my formative years. Um, my dad took me to an arcade where I grew up, and I can remember playing that game with him and just having such a good time. But this is... It definitely feels like Centipede. Like, Centipede with, um... Man, I'm getting, like, overwhelmed here. Alright. Centipede with, like, some power-ups, which is interesting. But they haven't really changed it up, like, the core gameplay loop. But I could see why, like, some purists and, like, Centipede um, apologists would would definitely not be cool with some of the changes here. Like it definitely changes up the gameplay loop, but I think it can work. Like um, that Pac-Man uh, Deluxe Edition they came out with a few years ago. The original one was was a quite awesome product. Oh, I made it a little further. I think yeah, it almost doubled the score. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. I wonder... Okay, so there's the world leaderboards. Okay, with 12,890, I am 113th. There's not a lot of people on this, this world leaderboard right now. Does it... Does it only go to 113, or is it just because I'm so bad? So you can do co-op too. I just want to see. So I can't seem to. Uh, I think I need to plug in a controller. I can't do um, mouse and player two right now. I just wanted to see if I could boot into it. It doesn't seem to let me. So maybe you need two controllers to take advantage of that. like a, a decent product. I mean, it's only $9.99. Keep in mind, this is not a $60 product or anything. But it seems like you're kind of limited to one mode, basically. Achievements. If you're really into Centipede, this this might be your thing. I'm, I'm definitely a, a uh, retro gamer to a large extent. Like, I cover a lot of modern PC games. I got a super badass PC and everything, but I still love jumping back into these classic games. I don't cover them enough, to be honest. I, I want to start doing, like, a weekly, like, retro night. Just to make sure I'm... There's something about the simplicity of some of those old games, like the old arcade games, where you could... You could beat the whole game in an hour, and, um... Just have a ton of fun doing it. I get my high score. I'm gonna try to crack the top 100. It's not hard when there's only 115 people. This game did just come out on the 29th, like uh, 10 days ago, 12 days ago, something like that. Those explosive ones are really cool. Oh, I moved too far forward. Yeah, my high score still. I feel like it's got to just be showing your closest five there, but it is concerning that I'm able to get almost top hundred with a relatively low score. I do wonder how many people are playing this. Okay, well, I'm going to end it there. This is uh, Centipede Recharged. Pretty cool Centipede. Um, 
uh, reboot, recreation, what have you, interesting graphic style, uh, fun gameplay loop, definitely harkens back to those retro game days. Uh, if you've uh, got any thoughts on this, if, uh, if you want to check out more, let me know. And uh, if you want to see other retro games, I have a whole playlist on the channel all about retro stuff and a lot about the arcade cabinet I've got and other retro games I'm playing. So check that out as well. And if you like what you see, consider subscribing. I would definitely appreciate it. Thanks again. Have a good night.